Hi, I'm Jessica Russo with Grow Your Life Mentorship, and I want to inspire you to grow your own food, grow your life, become a happier person, and it always happens one little seed at a time. Today, I wanted to cover how to grow watermelon. The sun, the water, nature does all the work for you. All you need to do is start by planting the seeds. Make sure that you plant in the spring so they can grow all summer long. You can use a cup. You would just fill this with dirt almost to the top, poke a little hole in it, put your watermelon seed, give it a lot of water and put it close to a window. And in a few days, you should have a big plant. It is really cool to see growing. So what I do is I go around the garden with all my seeds and I just plant randomly a foot or eight inches apart. I have different plants growing all in the same area. You can see here at the bottom is the watermelon. Then I have some beans and I have the basil and this is a date palm from seed. And we just mix everything together. This summer was very hot and we did have quite a bit of watermelon that was great. The challenge, and I think this happens in life as well, is that we're scared to pick the fruit of our labor. You'll have some very good success and instead of enjoying it, you leave it there, inevitably ants get at it or a creature gets at it or when you cut it open, it's not good anymore. This happened a few times at the beginning of the season because I kept hoping that my watermelon would get bigger and they still had like a weird neck. I thought, oh, it'll keep growing. And then when we cut it open, it wasn't very tasty. When it comes to knowing when your watermelon is ready, you'd wanna look at these little twisty things. So these help the plant stay solid and not flop all over the place. When these turn brown and start drying up, then you know that your watermelon is ready. Make sure that you harvest what you do grow. And no matter what kind of fruit you end up with, you're always gonna have some seeds. And this is super important in life as well. Even if you tried something and you failed, you have a relationship that's maybe not so great, your business hmm, sometimes struggles, when you cut it open, you're always gonna have some learning lessons. You're always gonna have something you can use and replant in the ground for next time. Either next spring, next season, use those experiences to grow a fresh plant and have more fruit. My little watermelon here looks like lopsided. It wasn't gonna go anywhere, but when I cut it open, oh, it sounds really fresh. And it smells so good. When you have your own fruit and vegetables in the garden that you're able to eat, it smells so much better. You can see inside, this is a little mini watermelon and it has some seeds for next time. So even though it looks like unsuccessful, it actually is very successful because now I have some seeds. There's at least five here already that I can see. But even if it's little, you can still harvest it and you can still have a little snack. So I hope this is helpful for you. Please comment below, share, like. I hope that's helpful and inspires you to grow your food, enjoy life, replant your seeds, and grow our lives in such significant, amazing ways.